I've had numerous requests to do additional CSS videos. So I have finished the main series on CSS and that totaled 79 videos, but I'm still getting quite a few requests to do other subjects on CSS. So I've decided to go ahead and create a new series and that will be called More on CSS. Very simple, right? But in any event, I could probably do 300 videos on CSS. It's simply a massive subject, but I felt that playlist had to end at some point. So again, this will be an add-on to that series. Now, if you're coming here for the first time and you have no experience in CSS, you should definitely go ahead and take my main series on CSS. So I'll put the link to that in the description of this video. And then once you've completed that series, you can come back here and take all the extra content that I'm going to provide in this series. And there are quite a few subjects and other properties that I still need to cover. So again, that will be handled in this series. One other item I would like to discuss is Notepad++. I've had several subscribers email me and have asked me to use Notepad++ in my CSS tutorials. Now, I didn't want to do that halfway through my main CSS series and then have people switch over to Notepad++. But in this series, I am going to use Notepad++. Now, if you have never heard of Notepad++, it's very easy to download and install. And I will provide the link to download download Notepad++ in the description of this video as well. And then you can also use this video as a request video. So if you have a particular CSS subject that you want me to cover, I will put it on the list and hopefully I can eventually get to it. Okay, as always, thanks for watching and look forward to more CSS tutorials.